Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Stats All Day with Dr. O'Day. Today we're going to talk about how to install Jamovi. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe and let me know if there's any video content that you'd like to see coming up. So if we want to download Jamovi, the first thing that we're going to need to do is go to jamovi.org. And this is a completely free program. It's something that anyone can use. Um, and it's a really great resource for data analysis, especially for those just starting out. Because it's free, anyone can get it. Now, I have heard from a few of my students that um, certain um, really, really old um, Mac computers sometimes can't support this, um, especially computers that can't upgrade to a certain you know, operating system update um, that Apple has put out. I don't know very much about Macs personally, but some people might not be able to access Jamovi. The computer does need to be pretty darn old. Um, my college students that say that they can't get it, typically they got their computer when they were in about middle school. Um, so you're looking at about six years and older computers that can't upgrade to the latest operating system on the Mac. But for everyone else, we go to download and you can either choose solid, recommended for most users, or the current with the latest features. If you're watching this video, you're probably going to be okay with solid. Um, I always get the current. Um, you know, every now and then I want to see what, what's new. I haven't even noticed too many differences between those. Um, I usually tell my students just to go ahead and get the solid, but either one of these are going to work just fine for the vast majority of people. So we go ahead and click on that, and it's just going to open that. You just save it to your computer, and then it will install once that, um, once that download is done. And once that's finished, we just go ahead and hit finish here. And then Jamovi should be installed. We can just go down to our search bar and type in Jamovi. There it is. I like to pin this to my taskbar so it shows up just down here. We go ahead and open Jamovi. It's going to take a second the first time that you do it. And by the way, I've heard from a few people that, you know, again, on a Mac computer, sometimes they have trouble um, locating it. You just need, Once you've installed it, you just need to go to your programs on the Mac and then once you find Jamovi in your programs again I would also pin it down to your little taskbar here um, and then you can just go ahead and open Jamovi that way so this is Jamovi it's fantastic we have our data here um, we've got different variables if you double click you can you know rename the variable so you could do like participant number so there you could have participant 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Um, you have all of, and you could have, you know, hundreds of variables in this data file. Across the top, you have all of your different um, statistical tests that you could run. Um, what I suggest to everyone as soon as they get Jamovi is to look through these modules and find modules that are going to fit their needs. And you'll see that actually Jamovi already brought in a lot of the model modules that I use. Um, you might not actually see all of these when you first download the, the, the program. But if you come over here to modules and click Jamovi library, so there's just a bunch of stuff. And actually, I, I say that I use these. A lot of these I don't actually use. Um, you know, I, I check a lot of them out. So I checked out JPower to see if that was very, very good. For me, it just doesn't have that much functionality. It's more for very, very simple study designs. Um, but yeah, you can run power analyses through that. Um, I, for all of my students, I have them install GAMLJ, that's General Analyses for Linear Models in Jamovi. So any of my students watching this video, make sure that you get that one. You just hit the install button. Um, and there's, there's just a variety of other ones that you could install. But again, for the students of mine that are watching this video, you will be good just installing this GAMLJ add-on for Jamovi. That allows you to run any level um, of regression analyses. It's, it's fantastic. It allows you to um, do general linear modeling, generalized linear modeling as well. So this GAMLJ add-on is a very powerful add-on um, that I use almost exclusively in Jamovi. 
So that's that. Once you have that, the GAMLJ add-on is this general linear model one here. You have general linear model, mixed models, that's you know multi-level modeling, generalized linear models, and generalized mixed models. So you have a lot, a lot of opportunity here. You can run all the different t-tests, you can run different ANOVAs, you can run reg simple regressions. Again, I like to run, except for correlations, I like to run my regressions in the GAMLJ platform. Um, you can do factor analyses if you are creating a scale. Um, you can do PCAs, EFAs, CFAs. Um, and by the way, CFAs is great to have. Not very many programs have CFAs. If you're coming over from SPSS, um, you have to buy add-ons to SPSS in, in order to run CFAs. So it's just really nice that all of this is free in one very easy to use package. That's and all I have for today. Again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.